George Porcard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Lint gone legalistically wrong. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love us passing on the faith to the next generation, like, subscribe, ring that bell, follow the description for the tax deductible donation in the description. The description for the tax deductible donation. Oh, incomplete. So, we're almost a week to land. It's been like six days of awful. No, just kidding. Six days of uh, focusing on Jesus, Christ and Him crucified. That's bad toss. How's your Lent going? Has it gone legalistically wrong? Did you decide on Ash Wednesday of last week that you were going to give up eating for the season of Lent? So you made these big grand plans in order to eat nothing. Did you do that for Jesus or did you do that to feel better about yourself? Who knows? Nevertheless, you made these grand scheme of a plan in order to be the best Lent of all time. And now you failed. You failed. And you feel like a Linton loser. And so you recommit, re-law up in order to do more for God. That is one way that Lent can go terribly legalistically wrong. The other way that it goes, a little bit more subversive and sneaky of the devil, to turn our Lent into legalism is that we do this. Ready? Try it. Ready? Try it. This Lent is so legalistic. All these people doing their legalistic stuff for Lent. Why aren't they loving Jesus year-round? Thank God. I'm not like people who are under the law in Lent. I'm free. <laughs> Do you see what happened there? Do you see what went wrong there? It's like a Lent train wreck where you fall off on legalism on one side, but the other side is legalism too. Guised under freedom, still under law. So how do we correct this? Well, the catastrophe occurs when we make Lent all about ourselves. When we make Lent about us, our change, our focusing on God, our doing things differently. On either way, either we're going to enslave ourselves to some laws that we make for ourselves and we turn religious, or which is the same thing, actually. We're going to enslave ourselves into what we're not doing and how we're not celebrating this and how we're so much better. Either way, you're in the law ditch. And either way, you're not going to be saved because you're not saved by what you do and you're also not saved by what you don't do. And this is important for us as Christians who often sometimes keep from sin and think that that somehow saves us. Lent is about Jesus for you. It's not about you for Jesus. It's about Jesus' sacrifice for you, not your sacrifice for him. It's about the suffering and death of Jesus, not about your suffering and death. You see, Lent is about you dying, but not for dying's sake. Lent is about you dying so that in Christ you might live forever. It's about Jesus for you so much that he would give his life for you. And you are given to die so that he could be more for your Lent. That's what's so important about this. That's what's so important about this. That's what it, Repent of it being about you. Either your great sacrifice or your not sacrifice and how much better and freer you are for not having that happen. And repent of all of that and fix your eyes on the suffering and death of Jesus. He is for you Calvary much. He is going to go to that cross to save you. And what Lent is, is that you would die to your pride and you would die to your trying to save yourself and let him be your God who would be Calvary for you, suffering for you, Golgotha for you, death for you, resurrection for you. His death, your death to sin, his resurrection, your resurrection.
to life everlasting. And so let your Lent be about dying that you might live forever. Not your suffering. Can you bet? Can you bet? There's a good boy. Yeah. Let it be about Jesus for you. And that let that sacrifice that you do be so that there be more him. Because that's what Lent is all about. It's fasting to die to yourself so you might live in Jesus. It's really about Jesus for you. I'm Pastor George Borkart. And this has been another Higher Things video short.